the phenom Drew Drogi is here today. Hi, Brian. I'm so Hi, happy everybody. To see you. I'm so glad you're here. I got to tell you, Drew, I'm so sick of her. I, I what a monster. She was so rude to me. We do our thing. We have a cocktail club. And every month we do a kiki. And when I had to leave Prague early, but I didn't want to. I mean, I couldn't. I mean, I didn't want to. But anyway, you had to. Yeah, you told me you were gonna. Yes, you were gonna be I there did for a while. Yes. Yeah, yes, of course. Oh God, we have so much to talk about with you. Actually, I love you have a it. new podcast. You have a new right play in. reading. You've got a new. We've got. So, we've got a new movie you're producing that looks fucking incredible. We're gonna get to all of it. But here's what I want to say. She was so mean to me. And I, the one thing Ron and I didn't do was I told her, because Rana, this is not a joke, <laughs> every year for her birthday likes, literally likes to go to a concentration camp. Like she, she likes oh. to, <laughs> she, she <laughs> loves it. She loves it. It's so, it's, she, she puts it in such a way that I know she's trying to provoke people, but she means it. Right. So when I was in Prague, I was like, I'm going to take you. And she's been once before, but I was like, I'm going to take us on a guided tour. I mean, I wasn't going to be the guide. I have no business. Uh, yeah, no, no, it. that's probably not wise. No, but I hired a guide to take us to Terezin, which is, was a camp, but not only that was also where the Nazis would bring like reporters and they'd be like, look how great they're living here. Oh, and the yes. front I've of seen, it was like I've propaganda. Seen propaganda footage back in the day. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. And then the rest of it was not that. And then oh, what right. they would do is send people from there to Auschwitz and right. horrible, horrible places. Sure. But um, anyway, so then Rana tells me because she knows I hate Naomi at Paragon. Do you know her? She's a horrible person. No, um, it just sounds like a lot. The yeah. name just sounds like a lot of. She's not a good person, Drew. Yeah, <laughs> she really isn't. So anyway, the last time Ron and I were talking, Naomi Paragon joined this conversation because we were at the right. cocktail club, and Ron has said, "Oh, Naomi, it's so sad that Brian had to leave. Maybe you could come and I could take you to Terrazine, just <gasps> like that." Oh my God, you got dumped. Dumped publicly. Ah, oh, the humiliation. So I'm so glad she's not here. I'm so sick of her. Yeah, she deserves every bit of guile that comes her way. I couldn't about, agree more. I'm sorry. I mean, every bit of bile that comes her way. Guile is what she has. She does. Bile She's is what she does. Is what completely. she deserves. Who's your biggest enemy? Oh God! Well, you mentioned the first two. <laughs> I hate them both <laughs> too. But I know you have a long-standing feud with Doctor Phil. Yeah. Well, Doctor Phil and I constantly. Well, we prank call each other. A lot. I guess it's so more it's, friendly fire it's between a love the two. Hate thing, but I, we say some really horrible things to each other. Well, it would be like if I invited Doctor Phil on a wonderful trip and not you. I would be so mad. I'd be exactly. like, Brian, what do we have together? Like if Doctor Phil went to Palm Springs, correct? Which I'm always teetering on, but I but I care about. I know. You. I know. And I love Thank you. You're you. my friend, and I'm like, I. You know what? It's gonna be. It's gonna be weird. Plus, Doctor Phil and I don't like to be in the same room because we're always on our phones. You know, yeah, oh, cool. Shit, causing attack. a commotion and, with each other, we like to call it. Oh, and, that's cute. Uh, yeah, it's so cute. That's great. Um, I love I think you guys. He has the hots for me. I'm not gonna. I don't know. I you know, up. I used to. Li- really this is sexy. literal. I used to have sex dreams about him. <laughs> I've never found really? him attractive in real life, but I know I used to. I used to have like practically. Ron is gonna kill me for saying it. Practically wet dreams about him. Wow, isn't that fucked up? That is so crazy. And he's not anyone I've ever like clearly thought about in my real life as being someone I want to be with, but no, it's, it's so, I mean, yeah, for real, I, that's one of those people that like, I mean, I could see him it, it, with a different personality being very attractive. Being, being a, a completely whatever, different person. I could see him being very different person. Sure. But sure. I remember over the holidays, I, when I was with my mom, I thought my mom was watching Obama, like in my, in another room. I, I thought it was Obama's voice. And I was like, mom's watching Obama. How cool. And I walked in, it was Dr. Phil. I know he like, I I, played their voices. And I was like, that's, so upsetting. I'm so mad. I know. It's like the worst, that it was the worst Dr. person who was I was like, mom, what are you doing? I, what are you doing? I just have it on when I iron. Well, put something else on, you know? Anything. Anything. 